But now it's time for one of our most favorite segments. It's time for Club Dub. These are Club Dub Players of the Week. These are guys that we think are going to get you at least 25 fantasy points. Rank, who you got? You know what? I'm going to go with Allen Robinson. And obviously he made headlines this week because he was taking all of his Bears stuff off of his social media, which is the way that people communicate now. Apparently, when you're upset at somebody, you unfriend them on the face gram or you whatever it is. And he removed all of his Bears mentions and everybody, including myself, got very upset. I went on to Twitter so that he was going to be easy. He's a top five receiver in this world, even though the haters don't believe so. And they always bring up guys like Julio and DeAndre and uh, Michael Thomas. And I'm like, oh, the guys who have Hall of Fame quarterbacks throwing to them. Okay, I see how that works. But in this game against the New York Giants, we knew their secondary was going to struggle coming into the year. They signed James Bradbury to a huge deal, but they did release DeAndre Baker before the season started. So it's obviously a deficit, and Ben Roethlisberger was able to go out there and exploit it on Monday night. And so I'm hoping that in this instance, as everybody, especially Chicago Bears players, want Allen Robinson to get paid, that he's going to get like 50 targets or something like that. I do hope that Mitch Trubisky makes a point getting the ball to Allen. He doesn't need to, though, because Allen Robinson is probably the best in contested catches, according to Pro Football Focus. So you can just throw, just throw him the ball. He will catch it. So I, I see Allen Robinson having a monster. What is it, 25 points? I'll put him down for 25, baby. Let's go, A-Rob. Let's go, Allen Robinson. I love that. And talking about going out there and proving a point, my club dub player of the week this week is DeAndre Hawkins. Earlier, we were talking about Deshaun Watson. We said, hey, it kind of looks like he needs a number one wide receiver. I wonder who that'll be. It's because Bill O'Brien traded away from DeAndre Hopkins. DeAndre Hopkins joined the Arizona Cardinals, and he balls out in week one. He finished week one as the number four fantasy wide receiver with 29 fantasy points, 16 targets, 14 receptions, 151 yards. He was the most targeted player on the Cardinals offense, and that won't be changing anytime soon. Those 14 receptions that he got on Sunday was his career high. It just goes to show that him and Kyler Murray have an incredible relationship. I know there's some concern for fantasy managers who have Christian Kirk and Larry Fitzgerald because DeAndre Hopkins has gone in and really flexed his muscles and showed what he can do for that offense, but he's going to continue to ball out. This is the best breakup between him and Bill O'Brien you could ever imagine. He's going to ball. He's going to have over 25 fantasy points. So obviously make sure you have him in your starting lineup. Love it. Yeah, what an, what an inspired pick. I love that. Yeah, it it was so funny because I know on Thursday night of last week, it, it seemed like Bill O'Brien was intent on proving that the David Johnson deal was a good one by running him 80 times. But then Kyler Murray's like, hold my beer. I don't even know if he's <laughs> old enough to drink beer. He's like, hold my Red Bull. Oh, I'm sorry, Red Bull. Monster. Oh my gosh, I shouldn't be saying brand names. But anyways, hold my energy drink, whatever. And then he went out there and threw the ball to DeAndre Hopkins 50 times. And I love it. 